Welcome to another Throwback Thursday. We're going to look at distance problems from 1957. Yep, these come from the Winston Mathematics book that you can find on archive.org. I love archive. Let's see what it says. When a car has a speed of 40 miles per hour, it will travel 80 miles in two hours. The rate is 40 miles per hour, the time is two hours, and the distance is 80 miles. Let's review for a second. Distance always equals rate times time. Now I want to point out one other thing. MPH, that means miles per hour or miles per one hour, okay? So let's fill in our table. Number one, we need to find the distance. I'm going to rewrite my equation. We don't know the distance, so I'm going to put D equals. Now the rate is 45 miles per hour times 3. Now the time is always per hour. Now all we have to do is multiply. 45 times 3, 15, 12, 13. Looks like they're going to go 135 miles. Let's look at number 2. Number two is the same, D equals R times T. We don't know the distance, but we know that the car is traveling 54 miles per hour times four and a half hours. Oh gosh, I know some of you are freaking out because it's a fraction, but don't freak out. What we're gonna do is two times four is eight plus one is nine. So I'm gonna change it to an improper fraction. Now I'm going to rewrite it. I'm going to multiply straight across, but I'm not going to multiply anything yet. Times 9 all over 2. What's really cool is 54 and 2 are even numbers. So I'm going to cancel those. 54 divided by 2 is 27. Now we have 27 times 9. And I'm going to write that right here. 27 times 9. Well, 7 times 9 is 63, 9 times 2 is 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So the distance is going to be 243 miles. Now that was pretty cool. Let's try number 3. Number 3, they give us the distance. Now we always want to rewrite our formula. I'm going to fill in what we know. We know the distance is 225 miles. The rate is 45 miles per hour. Now we don't know the T. I'm just going to rewrite it. 225 equals 45 times T. Now we want to get T by itself. And this actually starts a little bit of algebra, but if you haven't learned algebra, it's okay. Because anytime I have a number next to a letter, it means to multiply. Now I have to think, what's the opposite of multiplying? You're right, dividing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna divide by 45 on both sides of our equal sign. And I'm gonna go up here. So I'm gonna do 45 into 225. Well, 45 doesn't go into 22, so now we have to start multiplying. 45 times two, we have 10 is 90. We're gonna need something way bigger than that. Let's do 45 times 7. We have 35, 28, 29, 30, 31. Well, that's too big, isn't it? Let's try 45 times 5. So we have 25. 5 times 4 is 22. Hey, there we go. So the answer is 5. So how long did it take them to travel 225 miles at 45 miles an hour? 5 hours. All right, let's look at number four. We have distance equals rate times time. Our distance is 600 miles. Our rate is 50 miles per hour. And we don't know the time. Well, when I rewrite that, we have 600 equals 50 T. Just like the last one, whenever I have a number next to a letter, it means to multiply. And the opposite of multiplying is dividing. And so we're going to divide by 50 
on both sides. I'm going to write 600 divided by 50. Well, 50 goes into 60 once. 1, 0, bring down the 0. And there are two 50s in 100. So the time is going to equal 12 hours. All right, let's look at number 5. We're going to write, let's rewrite our formula. D equals R times T. They give us the distance as 220 miles. They don't give us the rate, so that's what we're going to have to look for. But they give us the time as 2 and 3 fourths hours. Just like the other one, we're going to change this into an improper fraction. So we have 220 equals R times 4 times 2 is 8, 9, 10, 11. We're going to have 11 over 4. I'm just going to rewrite it again. 220 equals 11 over 4 R. Now I mentioned that when we have a number times a letter, we multiply. And the opposite of multiplying is dividing. It's still true, but to make our lives easier, we're actually going to multiply by the reciprocal. And I'm going to do that right here. That means we have to take 220 times 4, 0, 8, 8, all right. We have 880 over 11 equals R. Now we're talking about a rate. So if someone asks you, oh, how fast were you driving? Would you say 880 over 11 miles per hour? Uh, probably not. So let's divide. I'm going to take 11 into 880. Well, that's going to go 8 times. We're going to have 88. 0. Bring down the 0. Well, 11 goes into 0, 0 times. Now that makes more sense. Our rate is 80 miles per hour. Now that's pretty fast. In, what is this, 1957? Let's do number 6. Bring it down just a little and over. All right, so we still have distance equals rate times time. The distance is 450 miles. We don't know the rate. And now they give us an hour and a half. One hour and a half. We're going to do the same thing. 450 equals R times 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. Three halves. I'm going to rewrite it, 450 equals 3 halves, R. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal on both sides. Let's take 450 times 2. So we have 0, 10, 8, 9. We're going to have 900 over 3 equals R. Now once again, when someone says, how fast did you drive? Are you going to say 900 over 3 miles per hour? I mean, that would be kind of funny, right? But let's simplify this. 900 divided by 3. We're going to have a 3 and a 0. 0. Wow. They're driving. I can't believe this. 300 miles per hour. Wow. So we don't know the distance. Let's write number 7 here. So distance equals rate times time. We don't know the distance. The rate is 75 miles per hour, and the time is 2 and a thirds hours. Distance equals 75 times 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. I'm going to multiply straight across. 75 times 7 over 3. Now I did that because I know there are three 25s in 75. Now we're going to take 25 times 7, 35, 14, 15, 16, 17. So the distance is 175 miles. Last but not least, number 8. Distance equals rate times time. The distance is 750 miles. The rate is a whopping 240 miles per hour. And they want to know how long that will take. I'm just going to rewrite it. 750 equals 240t. Once again, I have a number next to a letter. That means to multiply. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. 
We're going to divide by 240 on both sides. Now let's try to make our lives a little bit easier. There's a zero at the end of both of these. So we're really going to have 75 over 24 equals time. Now, would we say that? Would we say 75 over 24 hours? No. Let's take 24 into 75. Let's take 24 into 75. All right. Well, 25 goes into 75 three times, so I'm going to do a 3. 24 times 3, 12, 6, 7. And we're going to subtract, so we have 3. Now, they've been giving us time as fractions also. So how about we say this is 3 hours and 3 over 24. But you know what? 3 over 24 reduces. So we're going to say it took 3 and 1 eighth hours to drive that far. And that's pretty cool. Once again, thanks for hanging out with me on this Throwback Thursday. I hope I can see you next Thursday. And we're going to do another problem from way back.